Hello, welcome to the Founding Fathers Trivia Show. We bring back your favorite heroes of the past to battle it out on this stage answering questions about early American history. So, let's get on with the show today and introduce our contestants who are two giants of American history. On your left, we have none other than John Adams, and on your right is the beloved Thomas Jefferson. Gentlemen, please come on down. Well, if it's not the Duke of Braintree. Uh, it's been a long time, Jeffy. Okay, so our show format today is simple. I'll ask a question. When you're ready to answer the question, press the red button. If you get the answer right, 100 points. If incorrect, then your opponent gets the chance to answer. Now, you're getting ahead of yourself, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Just getting ready. Don't really trust this guy. Why are you there? Wow, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Let's cool it down, gents. Okay, gentlemen, check out today's prize. It's a brand new, yes, a brand new car. Surely beats the horse and carriage. Let's get to the first question. In the 1796 election, by how many electoral votes did John Adams beat Jefferson to become the second president of the United States? A, 13 votes. B, 9 votes. C, three votes. D, 17 votes. Oh yeah, it wasn't even close. I believe it was 17 electoral votes. Sorry, Mr. Adams, Aww. that is incorrect. <clears throat> Mr. Jefferson, would you like a try? Yeah, cheating Adams, I believe he squeaked by with three votes. Congratulations, Mr. Jefferson, you win 100 points. Okay, question number two. When was the Declaration of Independence signed in 1776? A. June 23rd B. July 4th C. August 2nd D. August 10th Mr. Jefferson, what is your answer? Well, of course it was July 4th. Any real patriot knows this. Ouch, Mr. Jefferson. Somebody got amnesia? It was August 2nd. Great job, Mr. Adams. 100 points to you. And you're tied at 100 points apiece. Question number three, gentlemen. Which was the first country to recognize America's independence? A, France. B, Spain. C, Sweden. D, Morocco. I'll go with my beloved France. Sorry, Mr. Jefferson. Mr. Adams, you want to give it a shot? Spain? Sorry, gentlemen, you are both wrong. The answer is Morocco, and we're still tied up at 100 points each. Our last question before the break, gentlemen. The two of you didn't speak for many years and then began to regularly exchange letters in 1813. How many letters did you exchange? A, 380, B, 27, C, 120, D, 55. Oh gosh, it was annoying. I believe it was 27 letters. Sorry, Mr. Adams. Oh. Mr. Jefferson, would you like to give it a try? I'll guess 380 letters. Great job, Mr. Jefferson. 100 points. <laughs> this is an exciting start. Mr. Jefferson leads Mr. Adams with 200 points to 100 points. We'll be back after the break. Welcome back, everyone, to round two of the Founding Fathers Trivia Show. We have a close match between our contestants. Thomas Jefferson leads John Adams 200 to 100 points. For those of you just joining, the contestant with the first correct answer to each question scores 100 points, and the highest scorer takes home a brand new car. Gentlemen, round two is focused on the American Revolutionary War. Let's get started. When George Washington crossed the Delaware River in December 1776, which town did he first attack? A. Trenton, B. Philadelphia, C. Newark, or D. Princeton? Princeton. Sorry, Mr. Jefferson. Aww. He's a bit confused. Trenton. Yes, Mr. Adams. We are tied up at 200 points. Mr. Adams, you seem a bit more upbeat this round. What's up? Took the new wheels for a spin. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Let's move on. Which battle was the first major American victory of the war? 
A. Calpins, B. Princeton, C. Saratoga, or D. Fort Ticonderoga? Ticonderoga. Saratoga? Correct. Ticonderoga was a much smaller victory compared to Saratoga. Mr. Jefferson pulls ahead 300 to 200. What was the biggest defeat for the colonists in the Revolutionary War? A. Savannah, B. Camden, C. Charleston, or D. Kings Mountain? Camden, what a disaster. Sorry, Mr. Adams. Charleston, someone have dementia. Correct, Mr. Jefferson. It was 400 to 200. Not a coincidence all those defeats were in the South. Before we move on, I wanted to ask how our participants are enjoying the big city. Loving the food here. No surprise. Look at them. Still on your diet, huh? <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, how about you? Prefer Monticello. Next question. Which fort did Benedict Arnold intend to turn over to the British in 1780? A. Saratoga, B. Ticonderoga, C. West Point, or D. William Henry? Ticonderoga? <laughs> Mr. Adams, would you like a try? West Point? <laughs> nice job. We're at 400 to 300 points. Mr. Jefferson, what's on your mind? Arnold tried to take me prisoner. Really? Would have been for the better. Oh! Not a surprise coming from you, John. Gentlemen, we are in the bonus round worth 200 points. You'll need it, John. Which British general surrendered at Yorktown in 1781? A. William Howe B. Henry Clinton C. Charles Cornwallis or D. John Burgoyne Cornwallis What a comeback, Mr. Adams! You just picked up 200 points and have taken the lead. The score is 500 to 400. We'll be back for round three. Hello and welcome back to round three of the Founding Fathers Trivia Show. After two rounds, John Adams leads Thomas Jefferson 500 to 400. Round three is our final round, so the stakes are high. As a reminder, the first correct answer is 100 points, and our grand prize is a brand new car. Today's topic is the War of 1812, aka the Second American Revolution. This long forgotten three year war wasn't insignificant, with thousands killed on both sides. The war was more or less a draw. But America held its own, and it was a key factor which led to the era of good feelings in America. Welcome back, gentlemen. Thanks. By the way, you can thank Jefferson's Embargo Act for starting this war. <laughs> wow, Mr. Adams is a bit on edge today. Well, let's get started with our first question. Commodore Perry won an important victory over the British in which battle in September 1813? A. Horseshoe B. Lake Erie C. Tippecanoe. D. Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh! Sorry, Mr. Adams. That's incorrect. Mr. Jefferson? Lake Erie. Correct. Mr. Jefferson ties it up at 500 points. Next question, gentlemen. In which battle did the Native American leader, Tecumseh, die fighting for the British in October 1813? A. Creek War. B. Thames. C. Horseshoe. D. Frenchtown. Frenchtown? Horseshoe? Wow. Gentlemen, oh you are my. both incorrect. The correct answer is the Battle of Thames, which took place near Detroit. We are still tied up at 500 points. Gentlemen, did you not get enough sleep? We toured the city yesterday a bit late. That should have been me. Yeah, right. You got Rushmore. <laughs> Question three. The British burned down Washington, D.C. in August 1814 in retaliation for the burning of which city? A. Chippewa. B. Frenchtown. C. York. D. Montreal. Montreal. Ouch, Mr. Jefferson. York, of course. Correct, Mr. Adams. You pull ahead 600 to 500. His fault. 
Blame game continues. Question four. Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner during which battle in September 1814? A. Baltimore. B. Plattsburgh. C. Bladensburg. D. Lake Champlain. <phone rings> Mr. Jefferson? I believe it was Bladensburg. Sorry, Mr. Adams, would you oh! like a try? Good Lord, Baltimore at Fort McHenry. Mr. Adams extends his lead 700 to 500. Oh. Gentlemen, have you visited Central Park? Catch a ride on the horses? Not our thing anymore. <laughs> Question 5. Which treaty ended the War of 1812? A. Treaty of Ottawa. B. Treaty of Montreal. C. Treaty of Ghent. D. Treaty of Toronto. Oh, creepers, I think it was Ottawa. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Adams. Got a case of brain fog? It was Ghent. <laughs> Correct though Mr. Jefferson still trails Mr. Adams 600 to 700. Gentlemen, we are in the bonus round, where our last and final question is worth 200 points. Mr. Adams, you're ahead. How are you feeling? Slam dunk, ready to drive home with the sweet ride. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson? Bring it on. Oh, yeah! Here we go. General Andrew Jackson defeated the British in which battle in January 1815? A. Lundy's Lane B. New Orleans C. Plattsburgh D. Bladensburg Plattsburgh! Oh, squat, I meant... Sorry, Mr. Adams. How could you miss that one? <laughs> New Orleans! Congratulations, Mr. Jefferson. You win 800 to 700 points and are the winner of a brand new car! She's all yours. How sweet it is! John, you can take the scooter. <laughs> <laughs>